Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. This is the battle of the travel BCDs. Certain BCs I've talked about before, but I've had quite a few questions by folks as to what do I think is the best. And of course, it's not about me, it's about you. And when I get these different questions, they, they pretty much delineate what I should be talking about. And what I'm gonna be discussing is I'm gonna be discussing things like the lift of these BCs. I'm gonna be talking about the weight of an individual BC, uh, the construction, the number of straps, do they have uh, D-rings, do they have tank straps, do they have trim pockets, things along those lines. And what I've got here for you to look at is I've got the Cressy Lightwing, I've got the Aqualung Pro HD Compact, we've got the Oceanic BioLite, I've got the Hog Travel Pro, and here behind me I've got the Scuba Pro Lighthawk. When we start talking about BCs for travel, like I said, different things mean different uh, have different levels of importance for you know you folks out there. Sometimes it's all about weight depending on where you're going. Travel doesn't necessarily mean that you're flying somewhere. You might be driving and you just want the convenience. Or it's about destination. One of these BCs is not necessarily what you're going to take if you go to uh, Iceland and go dive the big divide dive over there or if you're going to some place in the Mediterranean or Caribbean so maybe it you know it, it means a lot as to what you're going to be wearing for wetsuits things along those lines can you utilize weight belts with these BCs of course you can a couple of these BCs actually have integrated pockets while the other ones have quick dump type pockets. And I'm gonna talk about the units individually and let you compare them yourselves. I'm gonna be talking about the front and then I'm gonna be talking about the back of the BCs. When it comes to lift, that's pretty darn important because it depends on where you're going, what type of tanks they're using, and what we've got here is of course the, the Pro HD comes in as our, our big lifter. And then what we've got is the bow light comes in next. And then we've got the light wing and tied next would be Travel Pro and the Light Hawk over here. Now, when it comes to weight of the BCs, um, you might be surprised these BCs all weigh virtually the same. A couple of these BCs only are a part by a quarter of a pound. On average, they're basically five and a half pounds each, with a couple of them being slightly under that in that 4.75 pound level. Comparing some of the specific features of some of these BCs, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk across the, the group of BCs here, and I'm gonna point out similar aspects on the BCs as I move across, and then I'll move back across and I'll talk about some, some other specifics. So I'm gonna start over here on the light wing, and what I'm gonna address first is the number of D-rings, because it, you don't need a lot of them on a travel BC, but it's nice to have a few. So maybe you could hook up your camera or hook up an SMB, something along those lines. And the light wing utilizes four D-rings, two here on the bottom, two here just above the weight pockets. And then there's a couple of connection points up here. These are not D-rings, but you could add the quick link up here if you wanted to or you could put a carabiner or something like that on this one. Now the Aqualung Pro, what we've got is it's got six metal D-rings. Two D-rings down here on the bottom on each side. You'll see a D-ring right here above the pockets. And right up here, there's two small D-rings. 
Now, normally on these travel BCs, these are not full-size D-rings, but they're, they're pretty much adequate for whatever. Up here on the bow light, it has plastic D-rings. There's two down here on the bottom. There's two right here at the waist strap. And then there's nothing on this side. Now, a little trick I do is I could take a split ring and put it right here at this buckle. And that way, that would give me a really lightweight D-ring where I like to connect my leash that's on my gauge. That way it's not hanging down here, it's hanging at a good spot. So you could always do that on, on this one. Over here, it's got some loops and I'll try to get a close up. It's got some loops and it even comes with a little carabiner on there. As we move over here to the Hog Travel Pro, it has plastic D-rings down here on the bottom it's got two connection points there that you could put something if you really wanted to. And up here, it's got two small metal D-rings in here. It's got some connection loops, kind of like what the, uh, what the bow light has right there. And over here on the uh, light wing, you've got uh, metal D-rings down here on the bottom, which are kind of nice uh, here. At the waist, there's really no D-rings here. And then right up here next to the shoulder pads, we've got a couple of small metal D-rings there, which kind of makes it nice. Now, I'm gonna talk about the, the weight pockets here. You see on the light wing, these are quick dump. Here on the Hog Travel Pro, these are also quick dump. Over here on the bow light, again, quick dump weight pockets. And over here on the compact, we've got actual removable weight pockets here that uh, you know have a little track on it. You could hear it snap in place there. And the, the uh, light wing also has the removable uh, integrated weights there. The chest strap on the light wing is fixed, but it is removable. If you're one of those people that doesn't like a chest strap, and here on the Aqualung, it is kind of a, uh, got a little bit of a stretchy, stretchy right there, which makes it comfortable. And it is adjustable, so you just push in on it and adjust up and down on that one. Here on the uh, bow light, as a matter of fact, you can kind of tell this side of the chest strap is kind of in the middle of the adjustment and this side is lower down here. Here on the Travel Pro, it's there. Uh, it is not removable and it is not adjustable. Here on the Light Hawk, it's there. It's not adjustable, it's not removable. Let's take a look at the, uh, the waist strap. Now the waist strap on the uh, Lighthawk is probably the most unusual as far as all of these goes. This is the most similar to a weight belt that you're gonna see on any of those. It pops open, you thread it through, and it closes where all the other ones are pinch, closure, and open type of buckles on all of these. It's the same thing as far as that goes. Now, when we take a look at the inflators, the inflators are all fairly compact and have the side button on the Cressy, the Aqualung, the Oceanic BioLite, the Hog Travel, the only one that's a little different is our Scuba Pro, the button, the inflate buttons on top. That's kind of a, a standard thing for Scuba Pro is to put that, and they make it red so it's easy to see. And there's your deflate button here on this side. Now, I'm gonna take and turn these units around in just a second, but first I wanna talk about construction. Virtually all of these units are made out of what, what is known as 420 denier and uh, of the nylon and stuff. There's a couple of them that have a little bit of thousand denier construction in them. They're all gonna be, and because it's 420, it's fairly lightweight. 
some of the other BCs that you see me talking about, those have somewhere about 600 denier, 800 denier. It just really kind of depends on what, uh, you know, what they desire. And of course, trying to keep the weight down on all of these travel BCs, as you can see, they are all back inflate style BCs. Now I'll point out a few things. Here on the Cressy, we see we've got a right shoulder dump. We've got a left shoulder pull dump, which is really kind of nice. Here on the Aqualung, we've got a right shoulder dump and a left shoulder pull dump. On the BioLite, we do not have a right shoulder pull dump, but we do have the left shoulder pull dump. Over here on the Hog, we've got a right shoulder dump and a left shoulder pull dump. And here on the light wing, we have something a little unusual. We've got the right shoulder dump, we've got a left shoulder pull dump, but one thing that Scuba Pro does on these pull dumps, they add this little, and I'll, again, I'll try to get a close up. They add this little gray lever, and what it does is if your dive buddy's with you, and maybe you're having a little bit of problem controlling your buoyancy, your buddy can reach right here, pull down on that little lever right there, and it will vent instead of you having to pull on it. When some people get in that fight or flight situation, then they just kind of lock up, and the buddy's watching what's going on. They could reach over and just pull down on that little lever. Let's talk about tank straps back here. Now, here on the Scuba Pro Lite, we've got a valve strap here, and it's a standard a standard style valve strap. We've got a, I'm not gonna call this a tank strap. It's really more of a, like a keeper. Some of the BCs out there have two tank straps. Some of them come with one, but have accommodation for two. This has like a keeper band. And then we have our tank strap. Now, all of these tank straps on these BCs utilize the lightweight plastic cam. Some of you folks out there call this a cam band. That's why, that's the cam right there. So you've got two that simulate two tank straps here with your valve strap. On the hog, it comes with two actual tank straps and the valve strap is what we call a quick disconnect valve strap. It's, it kind of helps you when you're swapping from one tank to another, just helps simplify things. And when you set this valve strap, and if you've watched the, my assembly video, I'll put a link up here for you. If you've watched that, you'll see when you slide that BC on your tank, if you've got your valve strap properly adjusted, then it, boom, just fits right on there for you. You don't have to, you know, mess around with it and whatever. Over here on the bow light, we've got our standard valve strap. We've got our standard tank strap. And instead of being above, like we saw over here, this one is below the tank strap as the stabilizing strap is on this one. Uh, we jump over here to the Aqualung. We've got a single tank strap and we've got our quick disconnect uh, valve strap up here. Over here on the Cressy, quick disconnect and single tank strap. Now, of course, when we take a look in general at the battle of these travel BCs, it more depends on you and what you think is important than it is to me. But hopefully I've given you some ideas about some of the different uh, aspects of these particular travel BCs. It's, it's all about you and that's why I do these videos and I even today I got to speak with a couple of folks like yourselves out there uh, about the BCs. If you have questions put them down below shoot me a note. One of the things I would deeply appreciate would be if you would hit that subscribe button down there. It doesn't cost you a thing. And of course, I would love to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I'd like for you to be one of them. 
Now, again, I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply. I appreciate you watching as always. Dive safe out there. See you again soon.